Welcome to the product management video of Walmart Marketplace integration app by SetCommerce. Here in this video, we are going to tell you about how you can easily manage your Shopify store products on Walmart Marketplace through our Walmart app. This is the product grid. You can see the following details of your products from here like product title, inventory, price, product type, status and actions. Some of the actions that you can perform from here. Apart from this, you can click on this expand button and see some more information about your product like image, SKU, product inventory, price and status. See. Also, you can use this filter to filter the grid accordingly like you can use the product IDs, product SKU, title or product vendor to filter your product grid. Now let's move on to the actions that you can perform on your product from this product management grid. First of all, you can see here a button sync with Shopify. The sync with Shopify button will help you to bring your data from your Shopify store to the Walmart Marketplace integration app. You can select the fields that you want to sync with this app and click on the sync button. Next, you can see update status. This update status button will help you to bring your status from Walmart Marketplace to the app. If you are already selling on Walmart, you can sync your product status from Walmart to the app. You don't need to upload your products again to Walmart to make them publish again. We have some more actions from here. You can select the products and see what you can do. You can upload products and send your Shopify products to Walmart Marketplace. Update product status. This product status works same as here update status button but this will be applicable to the individual products and here this button will help you to get the product data of all the products at once. Next is retire product. This retire product will help you to remove the listings from your marketplace like if you want to remove any of your products then you can just select the retire product and make that product unpublished from Walmart. Update price. You can update the prices from the app to the Walmart marketplace. Update inventory. If you have updated the inventory, you can send the updates from the app to marketplace. Here you can see 25 products selected but if you want to perform these actions on all 620 items at once then you need to click here select all 25 plus items this will help you to select all the products and perform the action that you will select from here you can clear the selection if you don't want to perform this to all now coming on to actions here is the edit button you can click on this and you will get this product information the title product description the brand product type tax code sq override product id override fulfillment lag time you can update any of the product information from here and send it to walmart also you can add the shipping exceptions from here And if you are going to do the two-day shipping program then you can do it from here you need to just enable this select shipping override allowed select the regions after selecting these you need to click on save and go back to the product management grid Next to this, you have a view icon here. Click on this. You will be able to see the data that Walmart represents about your product. The 
SKU, the UPC code, the title, the product name, the product type, price, inventory, product status. All this data that Walmart has will be displayed over here. If you want to see the Shopify product information, then you can click on this. See, this is the details that your product have on your Shopify store. Go back to products. And that's all for product management. Thank you for watching the video.